area of a circle. Find the area of a circle with radius seven yards. Use the value 3.14 for pi and do not round your answer. Be sure to include the correct unit in your answer. So it's kind of a lot of directions there. So first, um, for, oops, gotta click on the pen. For a circle, I wanted to look at a few things. So here's a basic circle. We have the center of the circle and we have what's called a radius, right? Radius goes from the center to the side. So this is R. I'll give it a little nub there so you can tell. All right, so this is R, which means radius. To find the area of a circle, we do pi r squared. If they give you diameter, so I'm gonna draw a diameter here. A diameter goes from side to side through the center. Well, the radius goes from the center to one side. So if this goes from the center to the top side and this goes from the center to the bottom side, these are both radii. Radii is the plural for radius. So two radii make up one diameter. Alrighty, so, and actually I'll go ahead and leave these here just so you can kind of see that there's two here and this makes up one diameter. So if they give us diameter in the equation, they aren't on this first one, but they may in another one. So if they give you diameter, diameter equals two r. And if we wanted to go back to find out what r is, we would divide by two. So we'd have diameter divided by two equals r because r divided or two divided by two is one. So if they give you divide the diameter, you divide by two, and that will tell you what your r is. Super, super easy there. So we may have to use this one if they give us diameter. But if they give you the radius, we're just gonna plug it in here. So for this one, I'm gonna put my work here in blue. So they gave us a radius of seven, and they're also asking us, instead of using pi, they want us to just round it to 3.14. Pi is um, a never-ending number, so it, this is just a, a rounded version of it that they want us to use. And then we go times r squared, and they told us r, which is radius, was seven. So we have seven squared. So we go over here and we click on our handy-dandy calculator, and we go seven, this little button means square, so we click on it. And then you can go times 3.14 and then hit equals. And there you go, we have 153.86. They also say do not round your answer. So that they want you to type in that whole thing. And they also want you to include a unit, which means since this is yard, whenever we do area, we think of squared. Because if you think this seven for radius, we did seven squared. Well, both sevens have a yard attached to it. So it's yard times yard. Just like if you had x times x, you'd write it as x squared. Well, with this one, we have yard times yard. So we write it as yard squared. Same thing, just kind of a, a different version of a variable. So we would write 153.86 yard squared. And that is our area. And we close this and we scroll down here. So that is exactly what they came up with. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and try this out. Oh, look, the very first one, they gave us a diameter. All right. So find the area of a circle with diameter 16, use 3.14 for pi and do not round your answer. Be sure to include the correct unit in your answer. So. We know area equals pi r squared, but they're giving us a diameter of 16, so we use this equation first. So diameter divided by two equals r. So 16 divided by two is eight, so eight equals r. So eight is our radius. So now we're gonna go area equals pi, 3.14, times air, radius, sorry, squared. So now we go area equals, I'm gonna click on our calculator here, and I'm gonna go by clicking here, 3.14 times eight, and I'm gonna click squared. So this lets me put the whole thing in before hitting equals. So I know it's 200.96. So if you use the Alex calculator, you can move around the screen, but it won't close until you close it. If I use my calculator, um, and I have to hit this little rocket ship to get to my calculator here, 
um, depends on what kind of computer you're on for where you go to get your calculator. Or if you're doing it on your phone, that's perfectly fine. But um, if you do it on the screen, it's when you click on the screen, it's going to go behind that one. So you might not be able to see it. But the Alex calculator stays open, which is kind of nice. So remember, we did inches. This is still eight inches for the radius. So this is like inches times inches. So we have 296 inches squared because we don't write inches times inches. We write inches squared. That again, really quickly tells us it's an area of measurement, not a length. Cubed is when we get to volume. All right, let's go ahead and do another one. Okay, so again, they're giving us diameter. So find the area of a circle with diameter 18. So we know it's 18 for diameter. I'm using this equation again here. Di diameter divided by 2 equals R. So 18 divided by 2 is 9, and it's centimeters. So 9 centimeters is our radius. So now we go area equals pi, because again, they ask us to use 3.14 times radius squared. Area equals, and I'm going to go to my calculator and go 3.14 times 9 squared equals. All right, so I get 254.34. Remember, this was centimeters, so it's like centimeters times centimeters because it's squared. So we get centimeters squared. I'll close this, and I'm going to type 254. I'm going to click centimeter squared. All right, check. Yay. All right, one more. Okay, so find the area of a circle with radius 5. So we don't have to use this one this time because we already know that our radius is 5. They're telling us that. So we can go straight into our calculation here. 3.14 times radius squared and remember this is feet so this is going to be feet times feet for the unit so we have area equals 3.14 times 5 squared is so we get 78.5 feet squared So that is how you work out that. All right. Another one down.